Cam with Chris Ross. Chris, J&K Ross celebrating 35 years in Warrington and you're going to mark the occasion by supporting this local charity here at the Long Lane Garden Centre. Tell us a little bit why you decided to get involved in the community more. Um, well, uh, we've been in Warrington for 35 years um, and I've been with the business for a large portion of that time. And whilst we've been involved in an ad hoc way in the past with various community projects, I felt it was time that we, uh, we put our efforts into uh, one particular project so that uh, we could uh, help them in a bigger way rather than lots of little ways. And uh, we, we first, as a lot of people did, saw the Long Lane Garden Centre project uh, on the television uh, a couple of years ago. We've been helping them a bit since then and um, through a uh, business acquaintance of mine who works at the local power station, a guy called Billy Vaughan, we were uh, introduced to the ladies down here who run it, and that's Kath and Julie, and I had a look around about a week ago and I was really, really taken with what they do. I had to think about how we could help them and we put a number of initiatives together, um, uh, and today is the kick-off of that, and that's why you're here to uh, ask me all about it, Gary. And what sort of things will you be doing? Um, well, we, we started with three things. Um, their, their funding's been cut, as has a lot of um, um, operations by the local authority, and that's just a sign of the times. So we're helping them out in a small way financially. We've, um, we're going to fix them up with sort of what I would call uh, materials, so things like gloves, boots, overalls that their uh, guys and girls who work here need to keep them clean and safe. And um, they're really out of the way here at Long Lane, so they don't get passing trade. So the, the great public miss out on some really good bargains on some fantastic products. So what we've done is we've offered some space in our showroom on Kerfoot Street so they can display their wares and people can either buy them from there or use it as a signpost to come down here to the garden centre and see more of the products. And at the moment, that, those are the three key things. Uh, one other thing that uh, we've offered to our staff is that if they'd like to come and down and do a half a day or a day's volunteering work here, and that happens quite a lot, then um, they would get paid for that um, and spend a nice day down here helping uh, people do what they need to do. OK, Chris, well, congratulations on 35 years and keep up the good work in the local community. Thanks, Gary, much appreciated.